My guest now, Ken Patera, along with his manager, the Grand Wizard of Rustling, and perhaps after the 21st, Ken Patera will become the Intercontinental Champion. Not perhaps, McMahon. He will become the International Champion. Do you think any move, any strategy? Strategy. Strategy. I taught the man. How can he possibly expect to beat a superior man such as Ken Patera? That's why there's no perhaps. He is the new champion, you lucky people. At last, an athlete wears the championship belt. Correct, Mr. Rex, Mr. Well, things are, Mr. McMahon, as they may be. Everybody knows he's going to lose that intercontinental belt to Ken Patera. And you know why they know? Because Ken Patera is sick and tired of these braggers coming out here and saying what they're going to do to me. Well, I'm going to eliminate them one at a time. Bobby Duncan and I drew straws to see who was going to wrestle who. Well, I wound up with you. And that just satisfies me perfectly. Because the swinging neck breaker, as only Ken Patera can apply it, is going to be applied to that pencil neck of yours. And you are going to be an ex-chump. Let's bring on Ken Patera, number one contender, along with a smiler. And a left. Yes, 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 yes. Do you want to know where is going to be under Ken Patera when the referee goes one, two, three? That's where he's going to be. We don't care in front of, behind, over. He's going to be under at the end. You can run, but you can't hide. And I assure you, the speed merchant over here will catch you, little scared rabbit. That's exactly what you're going to be like. A rap. A rap. Because you're going to be fighting for your life. You come out here and you run your mouth. What do you know about anything? Especially when it pertains to professional wrestling. What were you? Who were you? You're just nothing. You had a lot of potential at one time. But you have lost it. Now look right. at my the manager. one thing he has not lost is the title. He's had the title for some two years now. He's not lost the title. He's met all summer. He I... has not met Ken Patera in two years, or you wouldn't be able to make that statement. With the mind of this man and the body of this man, you might as well pass it in. Because I speak with all sincerity right now. You don't have a chance. And this is New Year's. This is our New Year's resolution, right, Wade? Absolutely. Put the championship belt where it belongs on Ken Patera. <laughs> that is correct, McMahon. Ken Patera, now the proud possessor of one of the two championship belts. And imagine the thrill that you people are going to have when you can feast your eyes on Ken Patera in action. Devastating yet another one of his foes. That great man will be there. That's all anyone has to say. There, you know, everybody wants to get to the top of the mountain. Excuse me for a moment, Grand Wizard. We know that he is the champion. You don't have to continue to hold that up into the camera for this week and unmistakably pick it up. We, you can just put it down. You don't seem we... to object when your buddy is out here with his He's belt. He's not holding it up ah, above his feet. Ah, prejudice, that's what you are. I love you, Mr. McMahon, because the Grand Wizard can intimidate you in any manner which he pleases, and that makes me happy. Because you're looking at the champion now, and I have intimidated everybody that gets to the ring with me. Because they know when they get in the ring against Ben Kimpatera, they have to fight not 100%, not 110%, but 200%, just to have a chance, just to give me a workout. And that's exactly the truth. It was just a mere workout for Ken Patera. Because you see, when the Grand Wizard and Ken Patera joined forces, it was a meeting of not only the minds, but of the great physique. The bodies! And we formed and molded that championship form together. For a moment. What great physiques are you? Are you talking about physique? Take a shot, baby. Take a shot. Have you ever seen me looking better? Have you ever seen another man on God's green earth that looked as good as this? I'll answer that myself. No. You weren't including, of course, the Grand Wizard. Underneath this, 
Camouflage possesses one of the greatest bodies in the world today. He doesn't have to go strutting around showing his physique. Everybody realizes that. And on top of those shoulders, he possesses the greatest mind of professional sports today. Now, Mr. McMahon, would you like to run another uh, little verbal battle with him and be intimidated again? again? You came out here and you challenged Ken Patera at his own game. And what happened? You got mopped up, you got a hit by a chair, you got hit by a table, and you got hit by size 12 Triple E, baby. Well, this time it's going to be a knuckle sandwich. I'm sick and tired of people saying that they're my equal and that they're my better. Well, let's put it this way. I am your maker, boy, and you're going to find out just how hard that is to eat. So you're going to have to swallow it, but you're going to have to chew one of these first. So get ready for the whipping of your life. Your life.